uh, why you choose PSIR as an optional? Okay, so firstly, uh, PSIR stand for Political Science and International Relation. Okay. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel and in this video I am going to share with you uh, why you choose PSIR as an optional okay so firstly uh, PSIR stand for political science and international relation okay so 70 to 80 percent okay so 70 to 80 percent GS paper overlap with PSIR okay so it is a must point to choose PSIR as an optional, okay, because 70 to 80 percent GS paper overlap with PSIR, okay. And uh, in GS paper one, okay, so in GS paper one, India, Indian freedom struggle since 1857 revolts independence, post-independent India, okay, and Indian society like caste, gender, religion, okay communalism secularism in indian society okay so in gs paper one covers these things okay and psi also in uh, include in this okay and for gs paper two okay so in gs paper two polity constitution okay social justice international relation governance and also entire gs paper 2 covers in psir 2 oh sorry in psir optional paper okay so it is the better opportunity for you uh, uh, choose uh, psir as an option okay and in gs paper 3 okay gs paper 3 covers psir overlap with economical or oh, sorry economic development and planning okay in GS paper 3, GS paper uh, paper 3 cover economic development and planning and uh, PSIR also covers economic development and planning. So that's why uh, uh, that's why you choose PSIR as an option. Okay. And in GS paper 4, okay. So in GS paper 4, GS paper 4 covers ethics, philosophical parts okay and psir also connect with ethics philosophical parts so that's why you need to choose and uh, choose for psir as an option okay and also in essay paper essay paper also covers many things for psir so, okay and last but not the least okay in psir helps students in facing upsc uh, interview as well as okay so these are the points major points why you choose PSIR as an optional. Okay, so thank you so much.